Welcome to this edition of Taking a Time Out with Hey Brownberry. I thought I would just show you a bit of stitching on my latest sweater project. This is the Citrine Pullover, a sweater I'm already looking forward to wearing. About 18 months ago, I started to change my knitting style. For a long time I was a continental knitter, so I tensioned the yarn in my left hand and would pick the yarn to create new stitches. But then, due to some very loose gauge and a desire to try a different method, I started knitting English style, where I tensioned the yarn in my right hand. In the video, I'm working on a twisted rib for the bottom hem of the sweater. One of the things that's been really helpful to me in knitting this way is to take the time to pay attention to how I'm forming the stitches. My inclination is to go fast and get the project done quickly, but when I slowed down enough to see what I was doing with each stitch, in this case one knit, one purl. It allowed me to work on making that a smoother process so that I didn't have too much hand movement and could get a good pace. I'll stitch slowly here to show you how I do this one by one rib. One of the things I figured out with having to do repeat knit and then purl stitches is it helps me to position the yarn for the upcoming stitch right as I'm finishing the current stitch. So when I'm making a knit stitch I'll insert my needle, wrap the yarn for that knit stitch, create the new stitch, and then position the yarn for the purl stitch as part of the end process of the knit. Similarly, when I'm making a purl stitch, before I take that new purled stitch off the needle, I move my yarn to the back ready to create the next knit stitch. This has really helped me create a better flow when I need to switch from one to the other. Just like anything that you learn, if you take time with it and practice, the movements begin to become more of a habit, and it's easier to repeat the motions. I tension my yarn over several of my fingers. I tend to go over my pinky, well, under my pinky really, over my fourth finger under my middle finger when holding the yarn in my right hand. That gives me quite a bit of grip on the working yarn. And then I bring it over my index finger to hold it for beginning and making each stitch. I know ribbing isn't everyone's favorite to knit, but I hope that when you do it, you can find a rhythm and create a fabric that makes you happy. Thanks for being here. <laughs>